All right, time for a little car care video. So in an older video, I uh, used Yama Shield, Yama Lube, to basically coat rusting parts or just uh, bolts and stuff like that, just to keep them from rusting. Uh, that wouldn't last too long, and I found out about this stuff, Blaster Surface Shield, which does a little bit better job. Uh, kind of coats like the PB Blaster stuff for loosening bolts, but it's made for rust protection. So I got this and give it a shot, and uh, this is my new go-to. You gotta shake this puppy up. I read some of the reviews on this site, and people go, well, I can't get it to spray right out of the can. And it's like, um, guys, it's not that hard. You shake up the can, and you point it at the red dot, and you push the button. Uh, and people said if they let it sit, it doesn't spray. I had one sit for 24 hours with a little bit left. It sprayed just fine. So I just laugh at those comments. It's like user error, come on, guys get with the program public school wasn't that bad so all i do is uh some of these things you can see i zapped already last night and gives it a nice coating because you may want to take some of these bolts off in the future on the uh skid plate on this toyota sequoia it's a 2012 i'm you know starting to get some surface rust on some of the components underneath is uh the mechanics broke off two bolts i can't get them i can't get them out i'm not a i don't have a welding thing to get a bolt to get on them so i got three bolts so i'm just more motivated than ever to zap some of these bolts like this bam bam even some of these clamps man i just give them a little zap just to coat them and keep them from rusting it just keeps the oxygen off them and uh therefore the rust there even these little stupid things man every little thing i can think of go ocd mode baby a uh, lot less labor intensive than trying to get a broken bolt off. Even the battery stuff over here, I just zap right there. Uh, even on there, I got some stuff. And underneath on the frame, I do that as well as my phone ear cable is caught in the thing. So anyway, I like this stuff. This is waterproof lubricant for outboards and that. But this actually coats better. It seems like it's staying on. It's not just gonna wash off when it rains. Here, I got my little struts. And like I said, underneath the car on your frame members and stuff, you know, you just go in here. There's some stuff back there. I just gave a zap because you may want to get that, that bolt off there one day. You may want to get some of these bolts off here one day. Right? Makes sense? Yeah, when I crawled into there, I got some rust on the back. And on the frame, not much. I just uh, gave him a little zap because I already knocked off any, uh, any uh, really bad rust. So there you go, guys. Check it out. It's nine bucks at the Home Depot, and uh, there is no problem with the spray can if you read the stupid reviews. <laughs> yeah, oh, look. Look at that. That's all you gotta do, baby. Look, it will not harm most paint, plastic, and uh, rubber surfaces. Yeah, just shake that puppy up. It's not, th it's not that hard. Just keep shaking and you're good to go. All right, that's all I got. Enough on a three minute video on how to lube and uh, protect your truck hey the number one threat to keeping a vehicle a long time other than lack of basic maintenance six months on oil or five thousand miles i was a believer in the ten thousand bull crap but after seeing my oil i said never again do uh, differentials do your power steering you can do flush and fill you know, when your power is steering, you can do the radiator, not that hard. You just got to get in and drain the engine block down in here. This one has two. I just did the passenger side, took all of it out anyway. Uh, windshield wiper fluid, blah, that's just for cleaning windshield wipers. Uh, whatever. Windshield, uh, what else? Oh, differential. Tranny, I'm not going to mess with yet. This says high mileage on it. I'm debating whether to do a flush and fill. Not a flush, a fill, drain and fill. Uh, just to, yeah, I'm just hearing pros and cons about doing that at a high mileage vehicle. I don't know yet. So radiator, differential oil, front and rear differential on this vehicle, power steering. Uh, yeah, just keep up on it. And I was going to say the only other thing to not maintaining, oh, rotate your tires, is not keeping your vehicle around is having teenagers drive your car. They will bang it up. They will hit stuff the life expectancy of your car goes down dramatically. When you have a teenager driver in your house driving your car you're trying to keep for 20 years or so, this is a uh, 2012, so what, uh, 12 years old, 100 some thousand on it, but I like to keep it 
it's more down where I'm at is time than distance because we don't drive like we used to up in the horrible DC area. Horrible Maryland, horrible DC. I will never ever go back to the communist state of Maryland. Uh, oh, we used to drive a lot and people always trying to kill you on the highway, on the beltway. Uh, when did a day go by where you see a car on its roof on the DC beltway? It's like, what is happening? Anyway, down here, it's just a matter of keeping the vehicles rust free in the Southern air, the salt air, and um, just keeping it going. And that's the goal. You can't let them sit either. You gotta, you gotta move them. Like there's some rust, it's minor, but underneath you get kind of this little cosmetic rust. Just zap it, my God. You know, nine bucks a can goes a long way than having your freaking frame start cracking, you know, and then a the vehicle becomes no good. No bueno. Anyway, that's all I got. What do you guys do to maintain your vehicle? Yeah, I love doing it on the clamps, keeps it going. And oh, check your coolant reservoir. Yep. You know, flush that stuff too. It's not that hard. It's a little messy now and then. And then your city will take your chemicals off your hand. Usually once a month or so they'll pick it up or they have a dump site. Uh, yeah. All right. I'm out, guys. Hope this is helpful. I will see you in the next one. Maybe a crypto video. Maybe a car video. I don't know. I did a lot on this vehicle. This is a 2012 Sequoia. I just did not film it because I didn't want to screw up what I was doing since I never did it. My biggest fear was seized bolts on the differentials, the transfer case, nothing. Everything came off after I blasted them with PB Blaster for like a week ahead of time. Kept blasting them. Little tap, tap, tap on the, on the nuts. Everything came off easy. Life was easy. Um, hardest part was the skid plate because they broke two bolts holding that. And I cannot get the damn bolt out. Anyway, that's all I got. I will talk to you later.